Yeah, of course. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, while we're um, doing this right now, here are your permission slips. Take some, pass them down, pass them around. Take some, pass them down, pass them around. Take some, pass them down, pass them around. There we are. Take some, pass them down, pass them around. There's a lot on this side. If you'd like to follow me, I might walk away. Yep. I want to go again, but I need to really debate how my life Of course. Sure. There you go. Sign up for what? If I signed up for that, I had to back out because I don't know how it's going to line up with my life. You're using demonstrative pronouns. Like, is it okay I signed up for that because I can't do that? What do you mean by that? How did you know sign up for theater fest? No, I'm so sorry. So you won't get back your deposit. So if you pay to go, you have to go. Well, you don't have to go. I'm just saying you won't be joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Everyone, before we move on, has everyone had the chance to scan the QR code before I switch screens here? Yes, sir. My phone isn't letting me do the thing because I can't switch Google accounts on it. Do you have your iPad with you? No. Can you have a friend submit for you? They can, I can take multiple from the same person. Yes? Um, I mean, how Got you, got you, I got you. I was like, I thought you were like, I was in the way. I was like, I'm absolutely not in the way. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to face the camera here and also, um, I think we're going to have some people that want to have this information. So let me first and foremost explain what Theater Fest is. So, right now, all of the materials we have for Theater Fest are located in 2024 Festival, Festival Packet. The, um... The annual Illinois High School Theater Fest is a three-day arts festival that's one of the largest in our nation for students. What this is is that students will have the opportunity, you'll be pulled out of school Thursday and Friday. The festival lasts Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The state of Illinois, the Illinois High School Theater um, Association, um, they take all of their funds and throughout the year they put it into this huge three-day festival. It either is at ISU or U of I, Illinois State University or University of Illinois. How many of you went last year with us to the University of Illinois? What did you all think? It's, it's amazing. The hotel was brilliant. Don't bring it up. Um, especially because I got your money back, fools. Um, so, <laughs> right, right, right. So, Illinois much like every other sport, Illinois has a statewide theater competition, and they also have a statewide festival. Every school in Illinois is allowed to bring up to 40 students here. So you'll have hundreds upon over 2,000 students that all take over a campus before college students come back. At this festival, Illinois puts on a huge all-state show in which one of our Glenbard East students is a part of. Who knows Cat Toysh? Cat yeah. yeah. is serving on the props crew for the Illinois all-state show. 
Later this year, right after we do our Stage Guild, I'm gonna hold an audition workshop for anyone that wants to audition for next year's Illinois All-State Show. So we get to see the Illinois All-State Show, then there are a ton of workshops. High schools get to bring productions. Remember I told you last year we brought Matilda? We were one of the schools that were selected. This year, I am in charge of the festival, helping select what plays are going to go. So we get to decide, I get to go see a bunch of theater this semester, and then decide what shows will make it into the festival. So those about 10 to 15 shows, you can see those shows. You can take dance or lighting classes. You can take art workshops. You could learn about tech. You could just vibe at Starbucks with other theater nerds. It literally is the coolest thing in the world. So, let me kind of briefly take you through this information. Boom. What is the cost? The cost is $275 to participate in this three-day festival. I have all of our um, individual uh, purchase orders ready to go, but the way that breaks down is if you check the actual festival, it's $75 per student to register. That's going to be the cost that's due for all of you if you want to go. Then, once we submit and we are accepted because the festival does fill up, I want to make sure you're $75, you're not paying any more until we get accepted into the festival. Once we get in, we'll then meet to discuss the rest of the payment, correct? That payment breaks down as $100 for our coach bus. Many students have said like, hey, could we take a cheaper bus or could we take a school bus? I will just say, January in Illinois is not fun, and yellow school buses don't always um, heat. You know what I'm saying? So a coach bus is absolutely worth it. It will take us from the hotel to the festival. That driver stays with us, and they're at our disposal all weekend. So it's a nice way to kind of travel together in style, right? Then, this one's important. We are staying at the um, Holiday Inn Express on Wiley Drive. Please note, Last year we stayed at a hotel in Champaign that had bed bugs. It was awful. It was awful. I'm not a big screamer, and I was screaming in the parking lot. Jake accidentally heard me. Yeah. But we did get a refund, right? But the reason I bring that up is because that was a very big deal to me. Your safety, your comfort matters to me, correct? So we took great measure this year. I went down and toured the hotel first. I am the general manager's name, and we are staying with West and South. I am ensuring that we are in a safe, comfortable environment. That will be $100 per student for the three days, which roughly comes out to about 30 bucks a night. That's not too bad, right? Of course, of course. So that's the, um, that's the cost. Now let me come down here. Are meals included with registration? The answer is no. You can buy meal tickets on the site if you'd like. They're $20 a day and you get cafeteria food from ISU. Or there are tons, for those of you that went last year, a college campus is in the middle of bookstores and pizza places and coffee shops and Starbucks and McDonald's and there are no end to food options. So however much money you all think you would need per day for food, bring that. But note, the breakfast gives us, or what, the hotel gives us free breakfast, right? So one meal will be taken care of, and then we as Glenbard East will buy you all pizza one night. Cool? Great. The only other costs are swag on swag on swag. Do any of you want a shirt that says Theater Fest? Do any of you want one that says We Shine Brighter Together? If you do, they have shirts, sweatshirts, hats, jackets, scarves, keychains, water bottles, whatever you all want, you'd, bring, uh, you'd be responsible for that payment. Cool? Then, I want my child to be safe. What are the rules? The rules are, you can read those four bullet points there, but um, I have no problem screaming in a parking lot to a general manager about a hotel. Imagine what I do to a kid I know that breaks the rules, right? This is a very simple fact, and I just want to make sure we're all, you all are incredible. There's no reason this will be an issue. But please note, this is an honor to be able to go to this festival. If there are behavioral issues, smoking, drinking, your parents will immediately have to come and pick you up at their own expense, and uh, we will not be able to go to the festival anymore. Does that make sense? So all I would ask is the same rules that apply here, they apply there. Cool? We didn't have any issues last year. I don't think, did we? And if we did, don't tell me. Yes, sir. How long is the trip there? 
So between here and ISU, it's roughly about 215, two and a half. Would you all agree with that? Yeah, so it's not very long. We leave uh, probably during fourth period here on January 11th, and we return at 6 or 7 p.m. on January 13th. It's a Thursday to Saturday. Then, what do I need for you all to register for the festival? I am all about equity. Does that make sense? When I say equity, that means I am not accepting any payments, and I am not accepting any checks or anything filled out until Monday at 7 a.m. Please note, you must have a permission slip signed. It must be notarized. You have to have a check. There's a lot to do before that. But I'm telling you, the first 40 that turn them in are the first 40 that go to the festival. Does that make sense? Great. Any questions there? So that means what's due. Would you all look at your form here? No. So you all have this top page that is all the information. The second page is the actual medical and media release waiver through the um, Illinois High School Theater Festival. So this needs to be filled out and signed at the bottom. Is that correct? Turn the page, please. This is your power of attorney. This is a Glenn Bard 87 form that essentially states um, if there's any um, severe medical issue that your parents aren't there for, your parents give me the power of attorney to make decisions <laughs> for LOL. Um, I love you. My husband's coming with us as a chaperone. He'll be in charge, y'all. He's so responsible. Bob is wonderful. Uh, then, if you all turn the page one more time, the final sheet is our Glenbard parental consent. So there's just about three sheets to fill out. The power of attorney must be notarized. Now, I want to be fair to all of you. Last year, I got certified as a notary so that I could easily help you all out with this. I can't notarize your form because I am the power of attorney. Does that make sense? So I can't notarize a form giving myself permission to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or if you get hurt, I'll take care of you. It's a conflict of interest. So you all have to go to, um, I know Kinko's does it. Uh, UPS stores have them. Post offices have them. If you do a simple search for um, notary in the area, it will come up. The bank too. The bank as well. This is kind of a, yes, please. Mary Hosky's mom, brilliant. But please note for any of your other field trips, do not go and pay for a notary. I have it in my office and I will do it for you for free. That's why I'm certified for it. Cool? Great, great, great. So the final thing I want to bring up is right here. Once we receive confirmation, um, I have very good news for all of you. We are going to get into the festival, right? Um, Paperwork for the festival is not due until October 15th. When is our paperwork due? September 8th. I'm giving us two weeks, right? This is my way of saying we need to kind of move on this quickly because the fest does fill up and we would be put on a waiting list. And I'm, I, I, I'm not patient. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure we get this in. So two weeks from today, that form is due. Is that cool? Does anyone have any questions for the larger group on our video for Theater Fest, please? Wow. Great! Can we now talk about my most exciting thing that I have for you? Everyone! We have swag! Get it! We are opening back up our Glenbard East Theater web store. If you'd like a shirt, do you all see this wonderful little quarter zip I have? I got it last year in every color possible, and this year I'm ordering more. Um, so, we have shirts and sweatshirts of all different price points. We have cotton shirts from $12.99 up to fleece lined sweatshirts that are $45, correct? This shop closes, are you all ready for it? 9-7, um, one day before your theater fest stuff is due. Would anyone like to scan that QR code? You all have the access code for band memorized? No, it's a band. It's a band and band. No, I actually do a band. Where does it say band? Do not liar. Do not And that's a band. Yeah. High school band. You all are hilarious. Um, I'm so sorry. BSN Team Sports has a typo, uh, but you can clearly see they're not band shirts, right? No. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So, this is, I'm going to post this in our Schoology page. Please note, this only opens, if anyone remembers this from last year, two weeks. They don't allow us to do it any longer than that, and we can only open it once a semester. Does that make sense? So if you all want any swag, if I may make a suggestion to all of my theater students, you should have a black Glenbard East theater shirt. Does that make sense? We always wear black backstage. You can either supply your own, or for $13.99, you can buy a shirt that has our logo on it. Does that make sense? Great idea. Great, great, great. Does anyone have any other questions? Yeah, go for it. Where are you posting this? So this is going to be in our Schoology group. Once everyone registers for either the musical auditions or for Coco, I collect all of those emails. Now, for those of you that registered for the 24-hour theater festival with Miss Bandu, I'll get those email addresses from her, and I'm going to create a Schoology group that you all will get into. That houses all of our theater information. I've had many students reach out to me this semester like, when is theater starting? When, when do we begin, right? This is kind of our first meeting to gain interest, and then... Gray said the other day, I don't think you have my email yet because you sent out too many emails and I haven't gotten one yet. I haven't sent out an email yet. I'm waiting for people to register and then I'll start emailing. But to let you know, if we come up here, uh-oh, where's my mouse? There we are. Let me hit Schoology here. Under Schoology, we have the same group from last year. Up here in our groups, we have East Theater. It still says Puffs. I'll update it, I promise. Everyone just play it cool. This is a group that many of you are probably still in. This is our Schoology page. This will house all of our rehearsal calendars, um, all information about swag shop. Literally everything will always go through Schoology. Cool? Great. Any other questions, y'all? Great. For those of you that would want to... Here is, here, my drive, after school, 23-24 season, Putnam County Spelling Bee, Putnam and Cocoa Auditions. On Monday, we're holding audition workshops, correct? How many of you are going to come? How many of you are going to come Tuesday? So, it's the same musical workshop. Can you all help me get that out? I just wanted to offer it on Monday or Tuesday, because there are some auditions on Monday, aren't there? Or Tuesday, is it? So I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to come to one or the other. What we're going to be discussing is that this year, we are really upping the game for our musical auditions, correct? We are not choosing the songs for you. You're going to choose a song. You're going to choose 32 bars. You're going to come in. You will place your sheet music in front of Mr. Ewell. He will play for you live as you perform for us. I want to start getting us all used to real auditions. When I say real auditions, I mean last year, many times I chose monologues for you or I chose songs, right? If you ever audition for a college program or for the high school uh, theater fest, anything like that, you will have to choose your own material. So I'd rather start teaching you all that now, right? Yes, please. How do you print out like your own sheet music if you don't know? So it's this really awesome thing called a printer. <laughs> you send it, like you click print, and then you said, like, no, no, stop. So you like send it like to a printer and then it like prints out. You can do it in color. Where do I get it? Excellent. There's a library. You can get many things there. Additionally, if I'm if I'm honest with you, um, well, look at this. Has anyone ever heard of musicnotes.com? Listen to this, y'all. Music notes. Sheet music downloads. You can come here and type in um, I love you song. It will show you the I love you song with piano and vocal chords. You click on it and it says, do you want it? It's uh, $4.99 or it's $7.99. You can download it immediately to your computer and then you can print it off. Correct? So this is probably the easiest way to get music. Now, please hear me. I have asked our library to order the music theater anthologies. Do any of you know of those? Great. If any musical theater queens are in the audience, I want you all to pay very special attention to what I'm about to show you. For anyone that wants to go into the arts, who wants to audition for musical theater, or who wants to get better with their repertoire, 
There's something called music, theater, anthologies. And they're broken down by voice part. So as you all can see, if you are a mezzo, soprano, or belter, there are seven 300-page books filled with different songs for you to sing. They're broken down by tenor, bass, baritone, alto, soprano. I've asked our library to order all of them. The issue is that we're not going to have them in the next few weeks. You all know the way public schools work, right? But we will have them in the future. If anyone needs help with music, just like every scholarship, please come and find me. We will get you music. I don't want you all to stress out about this. Instead, I want to empower you all to get really good at auditioning. Do any of you, have any of you ever seen um, Austin Powers? I want you all to be fembots. You know what I'm saying? I want straight up like fembots that are like musical theater fembots that are like aliens that just go in there and kill every audition. You know what I'm saying? And how we do that are through this kind of difficult, more difficult process of identifying what character do you want? What does that character sing? What is another song from another show that's like that character? Right? So the rules of musical theater are you don't sing from the show. You show the director, I am so good for this part, let me demonstrate it for you through other material. Does that make sense? So if you're doing the I Love You song, let's say you want to go out for Olive, correct? Who sings I Love You song. The entire purpose of Olive is that her parents have left her. She feels on her own. She's a young girl. She just needs help, and no one's listening to her. Has anyone ever heard of How Far I'll Go from Moana? Doesn't that feel like a pretty great song for Olive? Right? So the thing is, many people are like, well, if I don't sing from the show, what do I do? Everyone... The internet is at your fingertips. Go out there and explore. I promise you, this is one of the best musicals, 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. But students don't know it yet, right? At the end of this process, all of you will have this in your repertoire. This is how we gain experience, right? Any other questions? Yes? Even those auditioning for non-singing will still sing for their auditions, right? Nope. Oh. Uh, nope, you don't have to. So let's, uh, let's look at our audition sheet again. Here, Hyun, and Hyun. So here it says audition requirements. It says prepare for Coco by choosing one of the monologues, prepare for Putnam by choosing 32 measures that best demonstrate your character, correct? So if you want to sing, Coco does have singing in it. So I wrote down at the bottom there when it says how to prepare, you are welcome to sing something for Coco, but you don't have to. There are monologues in there that you all can do instead, right? Great. Any other questions? Yeah. As far as Putnam goes, do you have to do a musical? A song, sorry? I'm sorry. Are you asking do you have to sing to be in a musical? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. Oh, no. I'm going to edit that to make me look so good. Cool. Yes. We need to hear you sing. So, last year in Mamma Mia, I want to be very clear with everyone. You could kind of hide in the chorus. There were many students that didn't sing. You all stood next to them, right? They were just kind of focusing on the dance. Um, Putnam County Spelling Bee has 11 characters, and all of them are soloists. So every single one of you has to sing. You're going to have solos, and you're going to be blended in groups. So I am looking for straight-up actors with, that are also great musicians. Got it? This one's hard. This one's really hard. There's only one character in Putnam that doesn't sing, and that is Principal Paunch. Principal Paunch got in trouble for um, accidentally pushing a kid down, so he was fired, and this is the first time he's been allowed back to talk with the kids, and what he does is rip on them the whole time. Think of it like Mr. Biro on stage, right? So like, they'll be like, your word is onomatopoeia, and the kid will be like, can you use it in a sentence? And Mr. Paunch will say, Spell onomatopoeia. That's the joke, right? He's straight up just over it. So for Paunch, I'm looking for a hardcore comedian because that's where all the improv is. In Putnam County Spelling Bee, we call up members from the audience to participate in the B. And Principal Paunch gets to throw out words at them and then mock them. It's hilarious. Let's offend people, cool? Great. Any other questions, y'all? 
We're going to cover much more of this on Monday, including how to um, mock up your music, how to tape your music together, walking on stage and placing the music on the piano. That's what we're going to cover in the workshop. Did you have a question? Um, yeah, kind of similar to that. Is there, like, will we have any moment where we'll be able to, I mean, practice with that sort of, like, with Mr. Like, Mr. Yule? If you set practice? that up. So, again, at the end of the day, these auditions... What I'm looking for are prepared students. Does that make sense? We're giving you all of this information ahead of time. We're running workshops. There is no limit to the accompaniment and tracks that are available online. You gotta practice, practice, practice. If you wanna practice with a live accompanist, you gotta get a live accompanist, right? Uh, yes, Bubbles. How much do you need to be Very sorry, I didn't hear that. Well, I don't think you need to be good at spelling. I think you need to be good at memorizing a script. All of the words are already in the script, and you can memorize them phonetically, right? We would never, ever give anyone a word on the spot to make them look bad unless they're a parent in the audience. Great, great, great. Yes, please. Can you audition with, like, a, just, like, an online track, or do you have to do it with a live You have to do it with a live accompanist. So the idea there is that we really want to empower you and get you ready that if you want to go on audition for a community theater show, if Drury Lane is doing something, if Paramount is doing something, if you want to audition for the Allstate, you have to sing with an accompanist. I say this with all the love and respect, I would never, ever belittle you. Wouldn't you rather mess up here than there? Queen, we got you. You're safe with me. Go ahead. Uh, what time is the workshops? Um, let me come up here. I believe it's right there, right? 828, 829, 230 through 430. I'm lying. You do not need to be there for the full time. I'm, I'm going to um, essentially go over what we've gone over now. And then you have to tape your music together. You have to put it in a manila envelope or like a manila folder that opens up and you can place the music on the piano. And then we have to mark where you're starting and where you're ending. And then you have to go up to Mr. Yule and kind of take him through like your tempo, like five, two, three, four. So they know, right? So there's a process to this. I'm gonna take you through all of that on Monday. And I'm gonna do that rather quickly so that you all can then come up and practice and answer any questions. Great, go ahead. School doesn't end until 2.35, so like. So you really are that kid, aren't you? <laughs> You're just gonna keep doing it. Like, hey, there's a typo. Hey, there's a five minute typo. I don't know what to do. Does anyone want character development for Principal Punch? Queen, get there when you can. Cool? Yes, there was a question in the back. There were questions, there were a couple hands raised, right? No, JK? J yeah. Um, I'm obsessed with your hair. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Like, what room? Like, Here. Here. Everything will take place in Ryder Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes? Uh, are we going to need to have our music? For the audition workshop? So that will 100% be up to you. I would say um, this is probably a really great opportunity. When did this QR code go up in the hall? Tuesday. It went up on Tuesday, right? So that means Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You have six days to find a song so that when you come in on Monday, I can help you with your actual sheet music. Or you can come in and just kind of... Um, Learn, learn with this, right? And then choose your song later. But yes, I do actually think it would be a very good idea to bring um, some music with you. I'll also have some sheet music here so you all can practice um, filling out uh, where to start and where to end. Is that cool? Anyone else? Yes? Question, if I know someone else is singing that song, is it okay for me to sing that song at the audition? I think that's such a great idea. It's so easy to get in your head, right? And be like, oh no, I can't sing it. They just sang it. Stop. Uh, Y'all are snowflakes, meaning that we are all, no, stop. I mean that in a positive way. We are different people. We are all unique. Your take will not be the same as the person in front of you. Does that make sense? That's a good question. Well done. Anyone else? Great, y'all. Great. So, here's what I want to do.